Hello, I am Captain Teo. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to attach the many avatar assets that come with your Ferality registration. Everyone who registers will have access to the Ferality Silver Shader and some themed assets, including a badge, while First Class and Sponsor tiers will have a whole host of themed accessories. To begin, we recommend starting off with a fresh Unity project, making sure to use VRChat's currently supported Unity version, which is Unity 2019.4. 0.31F1 at the time of this recording. Remember, you must have a rank of new user or higher in VRChat to upload custom avatars. Next, you'll want to download our Ferality Asset Manager from our website. You can do that easily by going to ferality.online, clicking on Download Silver Asset Pack, Download, Download Ferality Silver Assets, and finally, Download Ferality Asset Manager. Save the file to wherever you would like. Now, with your Unity project open, double-click the Ferality Asset Manager package. Then, on the window that opens, click on Import. This may take up to a few minutes. Once that's done, find the Ferality menu on the toolbar, then click on Show Ferality Asset Manager. From the Settings tab here, click on Login. A web browser window will open. From here, click on Allow Access to connect the Ferality Asset Manager to your Ferality account. Once you've done that, you can close the browser, go to the Downloads tab in the Ferality Asset Manager, choose which assets you'd like, and click on Download to download and import them, which will take a few minutes. Once these are imported, you can find your assets by going to the folder named Ferality, Ferality Silver, Avatar Assets, and then the name of the assets that you have imported from Ferality Asset Manager. In this folder, you will find different prefabs that you can use to add to and accessorize your avatar. Let's try one by dragging it into your scene's hierarchy. You should be able to scale, rotate, and position it to where you want it to be on your avatar. Drag the prefab onto a bone, so that it becomes a child object of that bone, which means that it will stay in the correct place while your avatar moves. There are a few prefabs that come with an armature that will help you adjust their shapes to your avatar. Let's take the pauldron, for example. If you expand it in the hierarchy, you'll find its armature, then the main bone, then the adjustment bones. These adjustment bones are what you'll need to adjust in order to change the shape of your asset. Feel free to move, rotate and scale them in any way you want to get a good fit to your avatar. I would suggest attaching the scarf to your chest bone, the pauldrons to your shoulders, and the gauntlet to any of your forearms. Make sure that there are no fist bone components affecting them, as this will modify the position of the adjustment bones. For the Ferality badges, the process is the same as with the assets. Add the badge to your hierarchy from the assets folder, then rotate and adjust it as you see fit. Then attach it to a bone of your choosing to keep it in place as your avatar moves. I personally prefer attaching it to my chest bone to make it look more like a regular convention badge, but feel free to get creative with where you place your badge. The Ferality badges come with an extra script to help you customize them. To access it, first open the Ferality Asset Manager, click on the Downloads tab, then the Public Assets tab, then the Tools tab, and then click on Download under Badge Maker. After that, find the toolbar at the top of the window, click on Window, Ferality, then click on Badge Maker. A new window will open, and from here you can type in your preferred name, pronouns, and title. Make sure you have the correct tier of badge selected in the menu, and leave the Auto Apply box checked if you want your new texture to be automatically applied to your badge. This will be all you need to get started. But if you need any extra help, YouTube is a fantastic resource for finding tutorials for Unity, VRChat, and Ferality. 
and you're always welcome to ask questions in our avatar help channel in the Ferality Discord server. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see all of your amazing avatars at Ferality Silver.